Good morning. Um, I've just arrived in Ben Ann car park. Me and my friend Jenny and her beautiful, gorgeous dog Arlo are going to go for a walk up Ben Ann. And it's such a nice day. It's like a proper, beautiful, crisp March morning. And I'm just like laughing because I'm so relieved that I just got here because it's like a proper like windy road. And the sat nav said 60. I was like, 20 is fine for here. And then there was a car behind me. I was like, oh my God, they'll be thinking, just drive your car, woman. But like, I was proper like feeling like nauseous. Um, I felt like I was going skiing when it like goes like up the mountain. Like it was proper like hairpin all the way. I was like, oh. Um, and then I've just like parked and I realized it was Jenny, my friend, the whole time behind me. I was like, I'm so sorry for like my really bad drive. Um, but she's just laughing. She was like, oh no, you're fine. Um, so she's just got her dog here. So yeah, I'll take you with me for a wee walk up Ben Ann. This is me just putting on the boots. These have been the best boots ever. They were like 40 pounds for a mountain warehouse and been the comfiest. So this is us leaving the car park. So you've got Loch Acre behind you when you start walking. And this is Arlo, the Samoyed. Samoyed? I'm having his first drink. It was getting kind of warm from him towards the end there. And we were just like stopping for chats there. Everyone kept cuddling and stopping to pat Arlo because um, he's just so cute. Me and Jenny are a little bit out of puff at this point because it's quite steep there. I'm um, just having some cuddles at Arlo. I've just poked him in the ear there. So I was just <laughs> apologizing to him, but he took it in good humor. I know what you're thinking. He looks absolutely filthy, but Jenny it reassures that he is very easy to clean and he loves a bath. And this is us just walking up a little bit more. So Arlo's coming around and being like, come on guys, you're taking too long. We're just chatting about boys and things. Um, everyone was super friendly. We stopped loads and everyone just kept commenting on how gorgeous the weather was. And you get lovely views of the summit here. Blue skies everywhere. And that is Loch Katrine in the background. So we're just at the top and it is so nice up here. So this is Ben Ann, um, kind of Loch Loman Trossachs way. And the views are stunning here. <laughs> so nice. And it's like actually really warm. I've had to like deal air. It's really steep. So we got pretty hot like walking. Um, and it's not too busy here, which is lovely. Um, it's such a nice walk if you're ever in this neck of the woods. I'd really recommend. Um, it's absolutely stunning. And there's like uh, ice, oh sorry, snow on the top of the hills there. <laughs> so it is lovely. So it only took about, I think an hour or so to walk up. So we're just going to head back down now and uh, take in the views. So this is us on the way back down and there's lovely little brooks and things on this walk. And we're just heading down these steep steps now and my knees were killing. Uh, I felt kind of old the next day <laughs> doing those steps. And I don't know what Arlo's doing here, but he got a little bit needy. I think he just wanted more cuddles and just <laughs> stopped me from walking any further. But he eventually lets me go and we get back on our way. Um, but we did have to stop because he got like caught in a thorny bush because he's so fluffy. So we had to like pick him up and prize this thorny bush from him, but he was totally fine. And Jenny's just refilling here with some fresh water, which is nice. And then we stopped and got a bite to eat in this little cafe, which was lovely. It was actually getting pretty busy towards the end and there's like outside seating and stuff. Um, and they had nice cakes and things. And they also had like a lovely little shop with quite a few like kind of Scottish paraphernalia, like little gifts if you wanted to get some. And like, like lovely little like keepy cups and things like that if you wanted to get like a little present for someone. And they also had really cool toilets. So they had these um, like old railway photos um, here. So I just love these. I think they look so cool. I'd love to collect them. And then they had like library wallpaper on the toilets, which got me very distracted and I ended up going into the men's toilets. Whoops. I just got back. So that is my longest drive that I've ever done. Um, I passed my test like three years ago. And yes, yeah, so that was my longest drive from uh, where my grandma lives sort of like an hour from Glasgow back to Newcastle. So it was all fine. And the walk at Ben Am was so nice. It was such an amazing day. And the views are just so lovely at the top there with like, I think it's Loch Katrine. And it's not too busy a walk. And everyone was like stopping and patting Arlo because he's just such a cuddly, cute dog. But he was getting dead excited and kept like, like swiping us from behind, like taking us out like our back legs. So I had to be like careful, like coming down with him because um, he was super excited. And then we had like we bite to eat just at Aberfoyle there. And Aberfoyle's actually got a go ape, which I did when I was like 
maybe like in my 20s um, for one of my birthdays and it's really good fun so it'd be a really nice day if you did like Ben Ann because it's probably you could probably do it in a couple of hours Ben Ann and it's not too strenuous it's just quite steep like on the way up and then you could do Ben Ann and then you could go to Go Ape which is like really good fun it's like an aerial assault course and there was like little cafe there so we got a really nice like lunch I got like it was like in a brioche bun of like egg and uh, veggie sausage but in Scotland, like it's you can get like a flat sausage, like a Lauren sausage, which is like really good. Um, but I got the vegetarian version, and they had really nice cakes. I'm gutted that I didn't get the red velvet. I was like regretting that the whole drive home that <laughs> I didn't get the cake. Yeah, and then it's like a really nice evening here back in South Shields where I live, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go to kickboxing because I've been in the car for like the past few hours, so I'm gonna burn off some energy and have an early night. So yeah, I'll just close off the vlog here, but um, thanks for watching guys and take care.